So how long have we been at sea? I think we've been out here about a week now, but week. it somehow seems a, a lot, lot longer. longer. <laughs> um, we just finished passing through the Philippines and everybody would run out and get their pictures taken but in front of the volcanoes and all that stuff that was out there. And Once we got onto the open sea, we had a little bit more movement now. I think I got my sea leg about three days ago, and now I'm having to guess it again. No. <laughs> now that we've gotten out of the shelter of the islands, everybody's feeling a little queasy again. We spent a lot of time setting up the gym, the recreation sure. areas, and the, the movie well, office. It's finally well, set up now. And yay, the movie room's done. I'm ready for movie and popcorn and stuff yeah. in there and like that. Um. <laughs> This is the drill, this is the drill, this is the drill. All personnel report to your muster station. All personnel report to your muster station. What we'll do is we'll practice with these folks here when it gets a little bit calmer, lower the muster down. We haven't had much experience. The various people on board of this ship uh, are, uh, are really impressive and uh, in particular um, the unique mixture of, of this, this expertise they have and, and their experience with previous cruises and at the same time they preserve those childlike enthusiasm for their work and, and that is very unique and you don't find that in the corporate world and I have to I, I cannot remember to f that I have ever seen this unique mixture on every re uh, on other research cruises I have been on. We are not really the developers of many of the systems that we have on the ship. We are here basically to help them test, to make to make sure that by the time we reach Guam and that uh, we have a chance to board the, the scientists who are going to participate in the ac acceptance testing, that all the systems, or that at least most of the systems, are ready for the task. <laughs> 